Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, draw out some of the things that I normally do um, and I'm going to use a whiteboard for this because these you see on the camera. Normally I do this on paper, um, just sheets of A4 blank copy paper and uh, what I do then is because I keep all the old versions so I can see how my thinking developed on a certain thing. Anyway, um, so the first thing I would do is I would simply draw a big square and by the way my, my drawing and writing is quite bad so uh, bear that in mind. I'm a programmer not a graphic designer. Um, so the first thing I would do is I would just draw it. Okay, so here's our homepage. Now one simple thing you'll see on almost every website you visit is you'll notice that the logo is up in the uh, top left hand corner. That's just a standard thing you see on almost every website. Now another pretty standard thing that you'll see is there's a navigation bar, a navigation menu. Now some people have it down the left hand side but you usually always see one across the top as well. Like you'll see that on Amazon and on other sites like that. So this is our this is going to be our navigation menu or nav menu, and uh, we can consider some of the pages that we're going to have here. Um, almost every um, every site will have a contact page, so we'll just write in contact there. Uh, almost everyone will have an about. So about and contact are pretty standard. Other things that you might have in there. Um, let's say we're doing um, let's say we're doing a site for a business that uh, sells bicycles. Um, so what we'll have is we'll have um, we'll have mountain bikes, uh, which I'll just shorten to MTB, and we'll have um, we'll have electric bikes, because this is a, a very green country, green green company. So we've got uh, mountain bikes, electric bikes. We've got about us and contact us. So there are some of the um, the standard pages. So I'm just going to draw that in. So now the next thing to consider is uh, what are we going to have. If this is um, if this is the home page, we're going to have a different design than if it's a main content page. So what I mean by that is, say for example, the contact page is going to have a contact form. So if I was drawing the contact page, um, let's say the the contact page looks something like this. It's got a, a heading which says contact us, and then underneath that it's got um, let's say it's got a Google map. I'm going to draw the Google map over here. Um, I'm just going to write that in as GMAP and then it's going to be streets and then a little X for we are here. Um, it's going to have our phone number so uh, and then they've got the they've got an address and their address is here and then they've got this email contact form and email subject and then message so and a little send button I'm running out of space here but you get the idea so what you can do is you can do this for every one of your pages so not just for example the the, uh, the contact page I'm just going to wipe this off and uh, do another page um, So, the uh, what I do, for example, for the About Us page, a standard thing I do is, uh, when I'm just drawing this out, is I'll say, okay, this is going to be the main content area. Um, we're going to have some text here, so I just put in lines like that. Say we're going to have an image here, so some people do images, draw something like that. And then I say, we're going to have another image here, and then we're going to have some more text here. So what you can do is you can do that for every page on your website, or the main content pages on your website, just to get a basic idea of how you're going to lay them out. Now you'll notice that I left this place blank here. This could be a sidebar of some sort. Uh, maybe this has the, the latest stuff from uh, from your Twitter stream. Um, or maybe it's got uh, it's a list of all the pages on your website if you've got loads of different pages. Or it could be the latest uh, post from your blog. So the sidebar can be used for lots of different things. And instead of having the sidebar on the left, you could have the sidebar on the right hand side. Uh, or you could have two sidebars. So lots of different ways to lay this out, but it's really useful if you take every page on your website. So you've got your, uh, and I can draw in here as well, home. So we've got we've got home, mountain bike, electric bikes, about and contact. And if you take every page on your website, or at least in the, in the menu, and you just draw it out in a sheet of paper, just to get the basic concepts down, the exact layout doesn't matter. Uh, you mightn't want your navigation bar there. You might want it down the left. Um, you might want to spend some time thinking about what you put in the footer of your website. There's all sorts of different things you can do, but a good place to start is just literally get the basic information down on paper.